Tell you about my dad. There is a lot to tell. He was a larger than life individual for everybody, especially for us as kids. When Eddie and Nadine started first collecting kachinas, or kitsinas, whatever they're called now, kitsinas, these boxes arrived at the house. And Eddie came to me and he says, I, I, take, those, take those boxes and put them in the basement. And they were just brown boxes. So I took them to the basement and I proceeded to throw them <laughs> down the stairs. Because they were light. You know? Because they were lightweight. I just figured they, they didn't say anything. I just threw them down the stairs. I think what was interesting is we didn't know any better. The art hung in our bedrooms. It hung everywhere. I was shocked growing up that nothing ever truly was damaged. He didn't kill you when he threw a ball against the painting. I was surprised he didn't kill him when he put the rocket through the painting. <laughs> One word, character. He was a character. Not only did he have character, but he was a character. He didn't teach us how to play baseball, but we sure learned how to shoot. <laughs> yes. I mean, an incredible practical joker, but also the best friend that you would ever want to have, and probably one of the most loyal people to his friends of anyone you'd ever meet. He never missed a funeral. Hated weddings, but never missed a funeral. <laughs> yeah, never missed a funeral. I think he was a real visionary. And I, I, I think that he had an unusual perspective, and he had a great intellect, and all of that came into play with the art. The art for, for Eddie was all-encompassing. I mean, so it captured the history of the West, which he loved so dearly. He used it to, you know, bring people in. He was all about sharing his art with, and his love and appreciation for art with uh, anyone that was interested. He used it for the school, so it tied into education and his love for education. And he also mentored the cowboy artist. He loved the West, he loved the history of the West and how the settlers came, and for him, I think there was a piece of that in him. He grew up in rural Chandler, which was a farming community at a time. It was more than just him collecting art. It was a reflection of kind of who he was and how he lived and the many facets of his personality and character. And it's all reflected in the collection. And Arizona was his home. <laughs>